They're called the greatest generation for lots of reasons, and it includes those who also went to work during World War II, all to help manufacture everything that was needed for our military to fight and win the war. Photojournalist Mike Kinney in Garland today to share with you an exhibit that's on loan right now from the National World War II Museum. It's all new at 5 o'clock. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. The Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. We are at the Garland City Hall, and the exhibit that we have in the lobby currently is Manufacturing Victory, the Arsenal of Democracy. The exhibit is about the home front during World War II and how the efforts at home led to victory abroad. All of the manufacturing that had to happen in order to create the planes, the tanks, the weapons, a lot of that manufacturing happened in Garland. It relates directly to our history. Work goes on day and night under the deft fingers of General Motors men and women. I think how inclusive the exhibit is, is amazing, uh, given that we're talking about the 1940s and World War II. I mean, you see women in this exhibit, you see African Americans in this exhibit, you see the disabled. But they can do it as well as anybody, and they volunteered, releasing workers with eyes for other duties. This school bell uh, came from a Garland school. It was given to a first grade teacher, and she was to ring it if there was an air raid. We have the plane spotting cards, which if you've never seen that, it's like a deck of cards, and you would study what the airplanes looked like from below and from the side so that you could p pick out enemy aircraft. The most important lesson to learn from this exhibit is that if you come together, all together really, uh, you can achieve anything. And I think given today's environment, that's a really important lesson that we probably need to be reminded of. All they did collectively was save the world. That's all. Mm -hmm. The exhibit is at Garland City Hall. August 15th will be the cutoff day. Uh, this coming Saturday, by the way, they're having a Rosie the Riveter look-alike contest, 11 to 3, all to celebrate the iconic image of women, as we know, in manufacturing during the war. And easily and inarguable, there's no, there's no way we could have done overseas what we did without the backbone Absolutely not. Here, in, here in America.